Are you staring at a pile of JavaScript, wondering why anyone would use that pesky var keyword? Or perhaps you're looking at a series of nested functions that seem to share variables, but you can't figure out how. And why is that function wrapped in parentheses with a bunch of vars in it? JavaScript variables and scope certainly can be strange if you don't know the rules. But don't worry, like any other system of sufficient complexity, the rules that govern scope in JavaScript are really quite simple. It's the combinations of these rules with a few others that give us power and flexibility in this language. Now here's the real problem with global scope. Anything that is attached to the global scope runs the risk of being overwritten by any arbitrary code. If you create a global variable called config, what are the chances that someone else is going to want to use that same word, but have a different data structure or function populate that variable? With these nested functions in place, we can now take advantage of closures in our variables. A closure is just a fancy way to say that our nested function has access to variables that were declared in another scope. In this case, our sayFoo function has access to the foo variable, which is clearly defined in the outer scope function. To turn this into an immediate function, we need to append a second set of parentheses at the end, immediately after the closing of the first set of parentheses. The result is an immediate function, a function that is defined and immediately executed. Since it's an immediately executing function, we no longer have a function being returned to our outer scope variable. Therefore, the outer scope variable is no longer a function that can be executed on line 16. So let's remove the assignment and calling of outer scope entirely and rerun the code. Now we get the result that we previously saw, but we no longer have a variable or named function for the outer scope. We now have an immediate function instead. All functions are objects, but not all objects are functions. We've already seen this demonstrated when we tried to call new my module and the JavaScript runtime told us my module wasn't a function. Additionally, every function in JavaScript can be used as a constructor function. That is, a function that is called in combination with the new keyword to create instances of objects. Join me as I explore and explain the basics of managing the scope of variables in JavaScript.